it's supposed to do? Because <laughs> I've never used that. I just sure, sure, sure. So basically, uh, oh, let's see here. So the stone relates complete descriptions if asked. Uh, the stone's uh, perception and knowledge may be hindered. Basically, whatever the stone knows, it can tell me in detail, but it may not know what I'm asking. So you ask it what the quickest way out is. Oh. Well. Rock kind of grumbles. That doesn't grumble. It kind of grinds, you know. And I've probably got this really cool grindy rock sounded thing, but I never can find anything in Cyberscape. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Oh, something has it. Here's this. That's what it sounds like when you start when you, it starts talking, before it starts talking. Like it's just kind of the rocks kind of twist and turn, and it like turns what you guess is its face towards you, and. You ask it the quickest way out, and Stone says many years ago, before I moved here. There were portals that flesh fleshlings used. Can you tell me where the closest portal is? Closest portal. Um, it rolls around again, like it kind of moves away and like another stone kind of takes its place and rolls up and, uh, it says to the west, through the long tunnels. In the, in the dead end, you'll find it. I assume I'm the only one that understands. Yeah, yeah. No, that everybody else just sees you putting your hand on it against the wall. And I mean, they don't <laughs> even they don't even like recognize. Yeah, they don't even recognize that the rocks from you know to them the rocks are just the rocks. But to you, you're seeing, you know, the kind of shifting personalities of the rocks moving around and stuff. Right. All right. So as soon as it tells me that, I'll just pull my hand away and step away, turn around to the group and say, we go this way. And I'll start heading back down this tunnel down here. Okay. And you move to there. And let me do this and I will... Move to there, and you see something. You see this large rock and earth creature. It looks like it's half in the wall, half out. Like it's just kind of sitting there, and as it's as you come around the corner, it kind of pulls itself out, kind of brings itself up to its full size, and then it looks at you, and it just kind of goes, and then just puts its back to the wall and just stands there. All right, I'll, uh, I'll look back at everybody else. We got the, the dead collected up. Well, 
Yeah, Parafel was stuffed in the portable morgue. So that big thing in the front with the hair that looks like grass, that's the, the thing that you see. You immediately recognize it because the ring tells you what it, I mean, and you know it from the, the the ring telling you. It doesn't tell you, you just, you know. You just, yeah, I get it. Man, I'm not like, not showing up here. What's wrong? I know the pitch. I know the picture you're trying to show me, but I'm not seeing it. I just have a gray screen. Oh, Sorry, it may so. take a while to uh, download, I guess. Yeah, probably. My connection may not uh, be the best, and not speed wise. Uh, I guess I'll wait. Make sure that the rest of the party is uh, like making their way over before I approach this thing. But. Uh, I will boldly start striding forward because because I'm a boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, Linnea is, is kind of following you. She seems to be just really uh, awestruck by your abilities. You know, she's she seems to be more aware of what's going on than everybody else as far as what you're doing. Um, you may not, whether you pay attention to her or not, it's up to you, but. Um, to everybody else, she seems very intent on watching you and seeing what you're doing, and and especially your interaction with this thing that's uh, to the west. Okay, is, is she human by chance? Yes, she is just a oh, okay. lady. All right, so I'll just try to put myself between everybody and like this wall here, I guess, and the creature. I can't really like, you know, get up on it, but I'll try to make myself a shield and just kind of motion for everybody to come between me and the thing or not get between me and the Okay. So Linnea walks by with uh, Bias the dead and nothing happens. And uh, Barney, the, the thing doesn't even appear to be aware of anybody else's presence other than you. It just kind of its head just kind of as you move it's just kind of following your movements it doesn't care about anybody else right now don't be afraid lads the earth is our friends move forward and i'm gonna keep moving grimlock till he gets here you want me to move him uh if you can yeah that'd be cool yeah, I can move him. But you don't have to worry about it. So, so, so Barney's going to ask uh, Ammon, so which way from here? So, let me, let me just grab the little area that you're at first, and then you guys can do what you want. Um, you can see that the path uh, goes, the, the one, uh, this direction, Goes off much further. You're, you're not uh, really sure how far because your light, your your eyesight and your light doesn't go that far. Um, but this tunnel here um, also continues on further than your light. But immediately in that area, uh, there's like these stone statues that are just kind of randomly placed in the room. Um, and to the west and to the south, um, your the tunnels just um, the one to the south. Um, Looks like it continues on sh a short distance, but you're not entirely sure again because you guys aren't looking at them. But that's what you can see. All right. Um, I assume Oryx Oryx is coming by me. Yeah. Sorry, I was trying to move him too till he got on. That's okay. I'm sorry. I don't have. I can't select it's my character. Yes. Oh, we can't select it. One sec. Let me clear that so you can. I, think I, I did not know that. Because I wasn't sure if it would take the same name again. Yeah, your name is set to on the character is set to something different. So let me clear that, and then you can reopen your character selection, the character uh, list, and it should be available now. Okay, I think I have them. Yep. There you go, and I will share the map again to make sure everybody has it. Thank you. Sorry. You're no, no, you're you're absolutely okay. Looks like uh, Charles is getting connected to. Sweet. Alrighty. So I think everybody is uh, 
I don't know if Jareth is going to be here tonight. Let me take his token off so I don't have to remember it. it looks like we're in an intestine. All right, so as soon as Orange goes by, I'll, I'll move over here as well. Okay. So the uh, the the Earth creature, um, after you move away, it just kind of turns back towards the wall and just kind of pushes its hand and then you know its arms and it just kind of walks into the wall and goes away. All right. So. Um, like I said, those statues are randomly placed throughout there. Um, some of them are humans. Some of them look like they were uh, dwarves, maybe an elf. Uh, but they're not. They're kind of crude. They're, you know, they, they seem like parts have been broken off and things and hit. You know, and just kind of chipped off over the years. Ooh, that's no good. All right. Well. Probably not a good idea if we go that way. I, I tend to agree with that. <laughs> so I only know that we should go west. So I would assume that we continue to follow this path. There doesn't seem to be any statues to the south. No. Well, when, when you found out about this west path, did they say there was going to be anything... I mean, did you find out about any kind of guardians or anything like the last place we were at? The messages are brief. All I found out that was that there should be a portal somewhere in here, and the closest one is to the west. Right, it doesn't even good. tell me how. We don't even know how close is the closest. It could be days. Uh, the west it is. West it is, and I will just keep marching west. Marty so you find out very quickly that that passage ends abruptly. Very ah, short path. I don't know about this uh, this drawing we got here, but uh... <laughs> just saying. What's wrong with the drawing? I mean, I think he's saying the tunnel is foul. A little <laughs> cartoony phallic a little. there. You're, you're worried about the phallic, and the first thing you land in looks like a skull? Yeah, I was thinking it was very uh, ish <laughs> looking myself when I saw it. I didn't want to speak that into being. Yeah. All right, well, let's go check out the tip. The, uh,. The message was that we would find our answer at the dead end, and this end looks pretty dead to me. Down the long tunnel at the dead end, yeah. You find a stone wall. The tunnel doesn't look very long. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we to judge? All right, well, uh, I guess I'll go examine the wall. I'm sure it looks a lot like a wall. Yep, it is. It appears to be a solid stone wall. All right. Then, uh, let's see. I got a couple options here. Let me just read what this one does exactly. Barney's going to take a peek around that corner there, Mike. Oh, we just lost Barney. He's just looking. So he can see around that corner. He'll come back up here and say, hey, this tunnel down here keeps going kind of west. I think this is the one, however. All right, uh, I'm going to walk over here. Wait. And let me just make sure I understand what's going on here. So, yeah, I'll walk up to the, the tip, and I will put my hand against the wall once again. Uh, this time I will use the pass wall 
ability and cause a five foot wide, eight foot high, and ten foot deep opening to appear. How long is it? It's a uh, five foot wide, eight feet high, and ten feet deep. Okay. Uh, so tick off the use. Um, it right. opens up. It basically makes a passage that goes ten foot and then stops. It's uh, just more more stone. Oh man! It only does ten feet deep. Well, uh, that doesn't sound right. I think. Let's see. So the it does it as a twelfth level magic user as well. So you you know. It, it, yeah, it doesn't. Seem the AOE just straight says five by eight by ten. The range is thirty yards. The only thing that changes with level is the duration. Duration. That sounds weird. Uh, yeah, open it passes these, through wood. Oh, several of these spells can form a continuing passage, so thick walls can be pierced. Okay, so yeah, it's more of a door thing, not like yeah. a dig thing, like this is what I was thinking it was like. Right. Yeah, it doesn't... Man, what are you... Like, if you just wanted to get from one side of a wall to the other, that's about as useful as yeah. it is. Man, garbage. All right, so <laughs> so I'll step in uh, and look around a little bit and feel the walls. They're very smooth. The rest Ooh. of the walls are not as smooth because, you know, they're natural. This is not. It's magically made. Can Looks I like somebody took a giant ice cream it? scooper and scooped it out. Yeah, be my guest. I'll step out and... I don't, I don't know who that was that was speaking, but whoever wants to examine it, go ahead. It was the other dwarf. Oh, yeah, knock yourself out, then, Yeah, I'll check out the, the whole tunnel here and uh, search for any exits. Yeah, two dwarf brains are better than, than this half of one over here, so let's collaborate. Still got right. a half an elven brain, right? You guys, you guys uh, spend a, a good ten minutes digging around and poking around at the rock and the walls and looking for strange things, but don't find anything that looks out of the ordinary, other than the fact well, you're, you know, in an elemental plane of earth. But yeah. <laughs> well, this opening will be here for over an hour, or so it ain't going. Well, I'm stumped. I don't know. Like I said, this other tunnel kind of goes west. I'll start to head down that tunnel. All right, I'll, I'll follow. I'm probably not the best person to be in charge of any sort of decision making. But you've got the ring. Uh, yeah, I do. Unfortunately <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> Do I hear anything unusual going this way? Uh, you don't hear anything other than rocks falling every now and then. Um, uh, grinding stone. Out. Yeah. Grinding stone. Constant grinding of stone. Like I said, when you look up at the tall parts of the, the caves, the, the ceiling is like moving like sky and the rocks are just twisting and grinding against each other the whole time. Who is this guy, Machil Squeak? That's Malicus Quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and who's that? That's, That's uh, Bias uh, the second. Okay. All right, I'll go down to the, the split here, look to the right and To the east. You see it goes further and then opens up into a larger opening. And here. You see a small cave opens up. Um, the, the floor is covered in like sh cr not crushed rock but look like shards of rocks like a whole bunch of flint has just like a, a somebody took a giant flint 
boulder and just shattered it into a billion pieces and scattered it all over the floor. That one. Gotcha. Where the fisher fisher like things look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll go in there and take a closer look. All right, as soon as you move in, uh, the rest of you guys go back. Stop moving, please. Lock, okay. lock. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't fast enough. Let me clear these guys out. Well, we were all kind of moving up there together, so. Yeah, I'm just staying right on Grimlock's ass if possible. Oh, man. I'm not about to have him have all the glory. Dwarven customs, man. So as soon as uh, Grimlock moves in, Grimlock, give me a surprise check out in the open, please. Sure. Oh man, I love surprises. Surprised by one, well, good, because <laughs> he's surprised. So you see these, they, they look like, uh, Jesus' description would be like a giant fish that seems to like swim through the rock and stone here and two of them leap up and are striking at you and let me put them on the map not hearing anything from clean feed right now does this not save my stuff there is it's supposed to be playing I don't know why it's not okay there it is That really needs to shut up. <laughs> Alright, sorry. I, I got distracted here. So the two things leap up. And I wish I had a picture, because I, but I don't. And they didn't have one. So I'm kind of screwed. I can't show you what they look like. Let me see. Uh, let me see if they got a really good description. It's leaping from the floor past Grimlock, and we'll see if it hits. This is number two. And he missed by three. And the other one is doing the same thing. Something like that, yeah. Okay. That's a better picture. And let's see. God, this is a weird one. Let's do. What does this do? Yeah, he didn't hit either one of them, so they didn't grab it. But what happens is, the one that was in front of you jumped past you and then jump and when he instead of going you know landing behind you he kind of jumped through uh the wall he's like as soon as he got to the wall the wall just he kind of somehow whatever the the creature is able to move through stone and earth and it just kind of it was like a fish in water it jumped up and took a snap at you as it went by you and then dove into the wall and the other one did the same thing and went in the north, this direction over here, and went over there. So you can't see them anymore, and I will pull them out. But that's where they went. All right, so now that we've ended the surprise round, we can go ahead and roll initiative for everybody. And I will... That music. Oh, yeah, look at that. Thank that, you for the host, Bob. Initiative. Thanks for the follow too. All right, 
Looks like Malakus is the only one that hasn't rolled initiative yet. Is Bill not here? Oops, sorry. Uh, looks like Malakus is the only one that hasn't rolled initiative yet. Ah, there it is. Because I couldn't find the buttons. They were hidden on me. All right. All right, everybody has rolled, and the first person to go is not here, so we're going to remove him. Next person is Linnea, and she's moving down the hallway. She's just following um, Barney because he has a light source. Bios is with her. Malachus. <clears throat> is there a target? Or are these things in the wall? Um, you don't see anything. No, not immediately. The, the two you saw, they leaped at Grimlock and then kind of went right past him into the walls. Okay. Um, and I guess the only thing I can... Uh, Alright, I guess the only thing I can do is move forward then. Uh, if there's nothing for me to cast that magic missile at, I'm not going to wait. Okay. Yeah, I only do it on Saturday, and honestly, it's, <laughs> I don't know if anybody watches Bob, but uh, hopefully you found it interesting. Right, did you map yourself where you want to go? There you go. Right there. And let's, can we put you on a square? Right there. Yeah, for some reason it likes to snap to grid lines and vertices instead of the yeah, middle. Yeah, it'll it'll snap to the middle. You just gotta be on the middle when you do it. And that is all you are going to do. Our next person is Amund. What are you doing? Frankie. Frankie, are you AFK? No, I'm here. Uh, I'm just going to move oh. up here and look around. Okay. You move there, and um, you can see that the the rock in the room, like the, all that kind of shattered shards of of flint stone is kind of like moving. And so you, 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 you can feel something underneath that's, you kind of got the same feeling that when you were near the the big rock guy, kind of the same thing here. Not exactly the same, but like there's more of them. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, I suggest we get out of this area. And uh, that's all I'll say, but I'll stay on guard. Okay. Next. Right. Grimlock. Okay, I will. Uh... Yeah, I get the conflicts. Well, why I, are it's... you saying to I have, uh, get out of here? Our time. I miss most of the other guys because they all run on Saturday as well. So. I'll just point but down. It's, it's, it's a good round. game day for us, so I have to do it on Saturday. The the Flint formation down there. Yeah. We can't see what's below us. Okay, I will, um, so I will wait here with my axe out and say, okay, everybody get back. I'll, uh, I'll follow you guys. And, uh, and so I will sit here and, uh, you know, waiting for everybody to get out and also looking for anything to come, uh, attack me. I'll swing it, whatever attacks me. So that's your action? Yeah, I'm basically holding my initiative until something comes out and attacks me to give them time to get away. Does that make sense? Gotcha. And next. What is Mr. Barney doing? Well, he had planned on moving on up, so... 
Yeah, Amunda is telling everybody to fall back. So he is. Well, he will hold his initiative where he's at. Just in a minute. Let me go ahead and advance it. <coughs> All right, that is the end of the round. Right now, with the moon right there, um, nothing is making any aggressive actions towards you guys. So you don't, I mean, unless you want to start digging, moving into the rocks. Well, it doesn't seem to be any way out of here. It looks like a dead end to me, so, and there's no piles of gold. Let's go somewhere. Need a new initiative? Uh, depends on what you're doing. Um, if you guys are backing right out right now, if you guys are backing uh, out behind mm -hmm. uh, behind a moon, you know, or if you're just going to stand there and um, while he's walking away, it's up to you. I'm gonna wait until everybody's out and then back up slowly. Go back to the intersection. Uh, so what are you doing, Amund? Uh, I'm going to clockwise skirt the outside of this wall and just try to really inspect the walls for anything kind of out of the ordinary and hope I don't get attacked. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, you can walk around. Um, in fact, the floor itself seems pretty solid all the way through. Um, you just can tell that there's stuff moving underneath the stone itself you know like the the two fish they just kind of went through solid walls to you it's solid um they have some kind of ability to move through it kind of like the earth elemental did earlier um but the you don't notice anything strange about the walls um it just seems like this area there's something in the stone or underneath it that these particular creatures um are there for you're not sure what though mm, okay oh well, weird it didn't it didn't keep my uh, when I used the abilities. I closed my sheet and opened it back up, and they were not checked off. Um, let me look real quick at your. This this may be why we're getting that weird showing somebody else talking thing. Yeah, probably. And you did the stone tail. You did a pass wall. Yeah. Do they show us ticked off now? They do. When you close it and bring it back up, what does it do? Uh, it looked good. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, there's something going on with your guy, and I mean, I think the only thing we could do is I could for let me force it to unown you and then make you reown it. Sure. Now go pick it back up, and then talk, say something in chat. Alright, give me a second. It's a little, a little laggy. All right, let me check the powers. Those look good. All right, everything looks good now. Okay. All right. Um, so you make your way around the room. Like I said, nothing uh, jumps out at you. Um, you can feel that they're moving around you. Um, they seem to be interested in you slightly, but uh, they aren't doing anything other than that. I don't think we should disturb these creatures. And uh, I will move out of the corridor here. So what are you doing, uh, Grimlock? Like I said, waiting for everybody to leave, and then I'm backing up slowly back to the intersection. All Keeping right. an eye on the room to see if anything jumps out at me. Well, as soon as um, Amun moves out of the area, and you're still standing there, two of those fish jump out of the wall again. Do the oh. same thing they did last time. Same too. This time I'm ready for them. Now they're gonna go first, and I'll let you do uh, something. But first they go, because they've been doing what you're doing. They were waiting for him to leave. Uh, that one hits. You take eight damage. One second. And it's, you see in that picture that Brian posted, 
They have three legs. Um, and one of them has grabbed hold of your body. And it's holding on. It doesn't seem to be letting go. And we'll do the other one now, too. And he missed. So he and, and when he did, he splashed into the 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 shards of flint. And this one is still attached to you. All right. What are you doing? Well, I, I was looking for these guys. So as soon as one of them popped it out of the wall in the melee range, I would swing at it. All right. You got so uh, the one on would you. Be the first one that attacked me. That's the one that's on you. Okay. So, am I allowed to swing my axe at something that's on me? I don't know, like, what that looks I'm like. I'm going to apply a minus, because it's close range, and he's attached to you. Okay. Uh, do you want me to do the minus, or are you going to do the No, minus? you can just roll, and then I will tell you whether you actually hit or not. Wow, you hit, uh, AC negative 10, so yeah, that's a hit. Is he large or small? Uh, he is medium. Actually, he's small. That makes a difference. Okay, second attack. That is a miss. Okay, I'm gonna yell at the party. Um, somebody get this thing off. I got to buy the end off and so on. All right. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna reset the round so that everybody can roll initiative because everybody else was getting out. So everybody, go ahead and roll. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead and roll initiative. I'll do my NPCs. Barney had held. He didn't move. Uh, if you want to charge up and then swing at him or do something, you're welcome to do so. Uh, yeah, that's what he's going to do. He, if he sees that attack him, he's, that's exactly what he's going to do. We'll move to there and swing at it. And hope he doesn't hit the dwarf. Roll hit. I'm making sure I got it targeted. You miss. Roll initiative, please. All right, Amund, what are you doing? I just want to try to pull Griblock back. Uh, you can see whenever you move up, the fish thing is, is it's, you know, it doesn't have eyes, really. But I mean, it's it's kind of it's trying to stay on the opposite side of Grimlock as you trying to stay away from you. But it's it's attached to him and it ain't letting go. Oh damn! Well, that's my turn then. Alrighty, next. I need to do something else. Where is it? Show no skippies all right so my guy gets to go again and he is going to he automatically gets to do his bite damage because he's attached but i'm rolling an attack for something else that is for the other one and then here's the damage because he's just attached to you ripping into your flesh And that is that one. And you have moved to there, or was it behind him? Which way were you going to be? That was about, well, I was trying to be, <clears throat> excuse me, like right behind him, but I didn't want to like have to. So there? Yeah, that's good. Okay. So, um, another one of these things seeing its friend has latched on to somebody has come up out of the stones you can see it poke its head out and then it just kind of wiggles like a fish and leaps 
towards Grimlock. And it hits with a natural 20. So there's another one on him. Grimlock. Okay, I'm going to swing at the first guy. Second swing. Hold on a sec. Uh, that is a miss. Okay, that's the end of my turn. And also on the first one, give me another attack roll versus your AC. Oh, you moved it. Hold on. I'll get back to you, Million Malchus, whatever. Okay. Give me a uh, a attack roll, please. With my axe? Yeah, just give me a, yeah, just that is AC negative six. So swinging at this thing with it attached to you, um, you missed very poorly. You rolled a two. And then the follow-up roll was to see if you would have hit yourself, and you did. Um, so give me a damage. Don't apply it to you. Just give me the damage. Wow, that's... Whew. You take half of that. Hold on, Malchus. You take half of that damage, and I've applied it to you. And Malchus, whenever you do magic missiles now... I didn't um, mean to do that. I was right-clicking to see if I could get a Uh, Well, you applied it to something, I think. Does it look like it? No, it doesn't look like it applied to anything. No, it didn't. Okay. So the way magic missiles work, and, and I've kind of been a little lax on this... Um, whenever you throw magic missiles, it's like instantaneous. You can't say, I'm going to throw one at this guy, and if he dies, I'll throw the next one at this guy, and if he dies, I'll do it. you, you got to pick who it's going to go to. So just well, definitely. Uh, and I'm going to target. Yeah, I'm going to. You don't have to do them all. I mean, you can do three different ones if you want. It's just you can't decide in the middle of it that the first oh, two killed sure. this one, you want to do the third mm -hmm. one to the other guy. It's no, They all, all go on board the, the game. Okay, there you go. Go for it. You, you, you're totally absolutely able to hit whatever you're yeah there you go and next is orc an orc, I can orc. I can. actually you moved last round you should have moved last round so I'm gonna let you take another action from there what do you want to do Move up to the front lines. Okay. Alrighty. Linnea's hanging in the back. You know, she's taking... She listened to what uh, Amun said, and she's not moving up. Barney. He's swinging at that one again. Cargo one. Go for it. Damn, that's terrible. And next round, roll initiative, please. Wow, these guys are small, so their initiative is low. Awesome. For me. I'm used to going last every round. All right, looks like everybody but Orc has rolled. All right, Grimlock looks like you go first at two. Okay, I'm gonna swing at this guy again. And that is also a miss. That is a hit. Alrighty, next. What did that do? Oh, I know what it did. 
because it's not there yet. The other one. All right, so. There is this one, pops out of the wall, and it initially was going to go to Barney, but on the other side of Barney was a moon, so it's going towards uh, the stone stuff to the west, and it's going to attempt to bite Grimlock, Attach grab a hold of Grimlock, or bite him or something, whatever they do. I don't know what these weird things do, and he missed by a mile. And why is it not doing it at you? Number three, that is the one that you hit, correct? It is. That is the one that you no. hit. I haven't hit three, no. Well, oh, that's the one, one that was a magic twice. missile hit. Yeah, that's the one that hit with magic oh, missiles. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Uh, he is the one that is attached to you, one of the ones. I'm gonna put that in a little thing so I don't forget. So he just does damage. Right to you. Uh, number two, he is going under the ground. And number one, you hit twice, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh oh. So. Um, your f last attack that you made, the creature, and you see how big that thing's mouth is? In the picture that he posted in Discord? Yeah, I saw it a few minutes ago. Okay. So, your last swing, the creature bit your axe and was holding on to it. Um, and let's see, what is it? Can I really... And we'll bite. Well, this is so. What happens is, um, you swing your your axe down at it. It grabs hold of the the, the axe head in its mouth and snaps the haft off. And the blade, the, the whole two handed the whole head of the axe is in the creature's mouth. I caught shenanigans. I can show you. <laughs> you guys really oh, should no. fuck with these things. All right, Malicus, it's your go. Yeah, All right, next is a moon. Moon, what are you doing? Uh, well, I'm going to move up here. This other one, number three, is not attached, right? Uh, One and three are attached. Okay, well... Hopefully I don't hit you here. So I'm gonna step up here and try to smash number three. As soon as you bring up your blade like you're gonna do anything to it, it leaps off back, you know, and does a backflip into the middle of the the rocks in the room and disappears. All right. If you we'll want to keep that. swinging at it when it does that, you can. But nah, it's sorry. just trying to get away from you. I'm just trying to scare him out of here. Okay. There's something about you it doesn't like. Is this? Is this? related to something that happened before I got here last session oh I mean hit that twice the, the ring that dropped from the uh, oh the, the one Jolomon picked yeah. up the one that Amun picked up that's not right because <laughs> Jolomon's not here we had to change that alright Oric what are you going to do looks like you're going to move up Grimlock. Uh, let me see. I think you've already used your lay on hands. No, not today. You haven't. Not today. You guys must have rested. There you go. 14 hit points back. Alrighty, next is Barney. What is Barney doing after he sees Grimlock's axe head get snapped off? So that thing is still attached, correct? 
Yeah, its leg is still grappled uh, onto his. They're like really just like giant three fingers, and it just kind of grabbed a hold of him and is not letting go. I'll attempt to hit it again. Go for it. Yeah, now that twenty. That's the deal. <laughs> These are man in size, correct? They're small. They're small, so I just have medium and large, I guess. It, it but it's big enough to swallow a two-handed axe head whole. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, this is crazy. Oh wow! Check that. You know. <laughs> yeah. All right, and that one falls off. And I think you are the last person, yes. All right, next round, what are you guys doing? Uh, Barney wants to attempt to grab the thing since he know he saw the ax head get taken into it, correct? Yeah, I'm definitely getting the, the head of my ax out of this creature if it's falling off. So I'm just gonna yeah. do a straight initiative. Well, right now, with a moon up in the front, they've kind of all, you know, the ones that were there, that were alive, um, the the stone near the edge, just the, the little rippling stones have kind of stopped there. You can still see them out further out in the room. But you can uh, easily reach down and open up the creature's mouth and look, and you see the axe head is deep in the creature's gut. Yeah, taking that out and reassembling my. Well, you can certainly take it out, um, but putting it back on your, you know, axe shaft uh, is going to take more time than just uh, a few moments, um, and more than likely okay, it will well, require some the, moves. I'm taking the. Well, I'm telling everybody to get the hell out of this room, and I oh. am leaving. I am not waiting. I'm out. Okay. I'm taking my axe and I'm getting out. There you go. Apparently, we need to leave a moon, moon here to guard our retreat. Yeah, better, better option. I agree. I didn't realize that he, that ring he had, um, had some sort of aversion to these, or that they had an aversion to it rather. Alrighty, so you guys, the, the thing is unlocked. You guys can move around at will. Um, but this this west passage definitely dead ended. With doesn't appear to be a portal. Okay, as soon as I feel like uh, I'm out of combat, I'm going to reassemble my axe. Sit down and take some time and do it. And I'm also going to request Bjarni heal, uh, throw a heal at me, if possible. Will do. Thank so, you, hold on a second. I'm in the middle of a sneezing fit. Uh, I, I, you're okay. You do what you need to do. You don't need to hit the, the transmit for that. Um, repairing your axe is not something that's trivial. It's not something you can just tape together. I mean, it's the whole thing is magic, not just the head of it. And when it broke, you know, you need to have somebody to put all that back together. You need to go get a new stick. It's got to be, you know, somebody needs to cast some spells on it and put it all back together to get it to function the way it did before. Okay, you're saying my axe is busted, is what right. you're telling me. Correct. Okay. So, with the hat of Valuna, what is the? Uh, you heal twice. So roll it again. Let's do the. Yeah, just you drag and drop twice. Yeah. Gotcha. Oops, sorry. That should be applied to. Grimlock? Yeah. There we go. My bad. You're good. 
Where are you right at now, Grimlock? Repeat Is, the question. I said, where are you at? Wound wise. Okay. You're good. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Auric, do you need some healing? No, sir. I'm okay. Thank you. Anyone else? No. We're... All right. I'm curious. Second. Okay. No, we're good. Alrighty. So, um, this another thing with Sirenscape, it just kind of stops on its own. I don't know why it did that. It's supposed to keep playing my ambient stuff nonstop, and it doesn't. I'm thinking about switching to keep it going. I don't like that grumbling voice. All right. So, what do you guys want to do? Doesn't look like that's the path to the portal. Yeah, I'll just, I'm content to let the moon lead at this point since he's got the, uh, the ring of, uh, awesomeness here. So I'll just follow him. I'm barring you. How do we know which way we're headed here? They're dwarves, man. I think they know where they're going. Right now he's going east, not west, but yeah. This, uh, you go east, and you can see that there are several passages that open up out of this large room. There's like a, there's a stalagmite hanging down from the ceiling right in the middle, but off on, you know, east, west, north, south, there's passages going off in every other direction. Give me a surprise roll out in the open, please. And I need to make sure there's no modifiers for that real quick. Yes, there is. How much did you make it by? No surprise by three. What's the modifier? On a suffer modifier of minus two. So you're still not surprised. So what you see as you move forward this thing that you thought was a stalagmite is in fact this large creature hanging onto the ceiling with its butt or something, you're not sure. But it looks like this but it's it's um, kind of the sort of maybe this one's so like covered in rocks very looks looks uh very stony not so much wibbly wobbly like that so um with that we need to uh have you guys roll initiative again because you were not surprised Looks like everybody has rolled. My creature gets to go first. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. He is going to attack you at least four times. Let me read this. Oh, they can shoot a total of... Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. He totally missed you. He totally missed you. What a turd. He was surprised. Yeah. Let me make sure I'm reading this right. Each. Uh... Here. 
Here is another one. Wow, and then another one. Another one. So two of them hit. And each time they hit, I'm going to save. And you failed once, which means you are weakened. And that is it for now for him. Oric charging in. That's not going to be close to the pit, by you. the way. What's that? The, the where you are running to that's not close enough to hit him the thing you can go there yep you sure can there you go are you charging in or just moving in charging i get a plus two for that uh yes one second let me apply the charge effect to you and it will do that automatically for you now go for it that's a hit Oh, negative nine. Which size is it? Medium? Uh, damage. Do damage, yeah. What size is he asking? Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't hear that. Uh, it is large. Oh, I did medium. Sorry. Um, I don't, I will try to remember how to undo this, but I never do it right. Uh, I did it right that time. All right, redo it as uh, large. Oh, oh you should have took the other one. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> All right, let me look at something. All right, that is it for him. Next person is Linnea, who is way back in the back. She comes up to here to see what you guys are doing. She doesn't know what's going on. Grimlock. Um, I'll go ahead and run in and uh, get in the thick of it here. So, uh, my guy. Uh, let's see, my move is six. That means I can move 60 feet, right? Um, you can move more than that if you're running, yeah, or charging. So, now I'll uh, I'll run up there and I'll I'll charge it, charge the just the rope. Let me apply a charge to you. It'll automatically apply the bonus and go for it. Okay. That is a hit. for me all righty uh next malicus all right uh all right let me turn and i guess that's yeah all right let me <laughs> uh, i guess that missed yeah also um let me let me look at your thing because there's some special stuff with that spell and in your case it wouldn't have mattered um but there is precast there's an effect that you put on yourself and what that that does what does that do that it applies the um hit modifiers because you're supposed to attack as a fighter when you do that uh... Oh, that's what oh, that does. Okay. So you click that. It only works for one attack. It goes away as soon as you do it. And But you rolled a one, so it wouldn't have mattered anyways. I hate that about bells. It's totally yeah. bogus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All righty. And go to Barney. Barney. Going to move to there. Okay, I'm kind of waiting for uh, Bill to catch a line. Yeah, hold on. I'm for trying. <laughs> you can <laughs> drag and drop that button on your, your one of your macro yeah, bars at the bottom. Yeah, I got to do that now. 
All right, Barney, now you, can, you want to that's, move to that, there? That's Barney's going to move to there and then hold. So, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm wound. You are weak. Weak. And actually, the thing has yeah. still got a hold of you, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. Oh, can I, can I hit his technical? Let's see. One second. Tentacles. I feel like I'm in some bad hentai movie. <laughs> it must be say so. so, so. Alrighty, um, you can attempt to, you know, you know, try to break free, you know, with your strength, or you can try to smash it if you want. And it, this, this creature's tentacles are, they're not really like uh, slimy, flexible. They're like, they're, you know, like rock, you know, they're, they, they're covered in like hard stone shell. They seem, they don't seem to be as flexible. So they're kind of all kind of flailing about. There's actually two more that haven't attacked yet. Oh. All right, then I I'll try to bring my uh, battle axe down on the tentacle. You want me to just target him? Um, just do a roll to hit, <clears throat> and I'll I'll tell you if you actually hit the, the thing, because it's not versus his AC. What AC is that? You had AC two, which is, is not hit. Dang man! I mean, right, it. it's it's like. If it did hit, it was it's just clunk. It, it does nothing. Yeah, it yeah. lands off. All right. Yeah. And then so the stroper uh, is going to use his last two attacks at the end of the round against somebody else. And we have three people here, so we'll do a d6. One to two is Grimlock. Three to four is. Work and then the rest is Barney. Oh, it's Barney. Sunny beaches, isn't it? Well, that's bogus. All right, so you got hit twice, and I need to make you save twice. feel weak 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 in fact um i'm on you're getting next round you're probably going to be pulled closer because it's pulling you into itself all right so we're at the end of the round and roll initiative please Wilson, any idea why the frame rate on the dice is might be lower? Uh, my connection may not be like it no, as good as it normally is. I don't know. It could be also. No, I mean, like the, my frame rate on rolling the dice, like the animation with rolling the dice, is real choppy. Um, the only way to clear that up is to like reboot your machine. I've seen that before. I had it's it's there's some kind of DirectX issue. Um, I had the same thing that it, this used to happen in Neverwinter Nights too. It would get really chunky and clunky, and you would have to restart it. Okay. Mine doesn't seem to have rolled at all, even though I watched it roll. Uh, you rolled initiative. I don't. I don't show you as needing to roll. You've rolled several times, in fact. Your first one was an eleven, which is what you have. Okay, I see a two and a two plus five. I was seeing eleven. Um, you rolled uh, an eight plus three, then you rolled uh, one, two, three, four more times, and none of those were accepted. Five more times. It it only takes the first one you roll. It won't let you roll multiple times once you've rolled once. Change music. All right. So the stroper's going again, and 
He's got one. He's got two tentacles on Barney and one on a Munt. That means he has three left. He's going to attempt to grab a hold of Grimlock once as well. He'll do that with this one. He hits. Does he save? He saves. The other one hit. Hits. Does he save? And he saves. All right. That's his two there, so that means we've got five. One more to go, and it's going to be against Auric. And he missed. And let's see. Ten foot closer per round. Okay. So that means that ten foot closer per round. That means that Amund, you are here. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because these are that would be ten yeah. feet. Yeah. So he's pulling he's pulled you close enough. Uh, the creature bites the victim. Uh, uh, so next round, he looks like he's pulling you into his giant beaky maw. So next round, he'll get to bite you. Grimlock. Kill it. All right. uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and swing at him. I, I, it's hard for me to do without my axe, man, but I'll... Go for it. That's a hit. It's large. Max damage. Same roll. Said twice. Nice. Ah, you clobbered him it. down. Oh, so the uh, all the little um, tentacles just drop, and it, everybody's released. Um, the encounter does end, but. You guys are still weak. Those of you that were grabbed a hold of by the thing. And before we get any further, I need to make sure to put this encounter into the daily jobber because he's worth a lot of XP, apparently. All right. So the creature literally, you know, fall, you know, it's, you can, it falls off from the ceiling. Like you can tell where it's, it's, I don't know. I want to say it's butt, but it has like these stones, sort of claws that it used to grab a hold of the ceiling and keep itself attached. But it dropped and hit the floor, and you can see where it was, you know, stuck up there for a long time. A stone roper, huh? Stroper. The roper. I'll uh, walk the perimeter of the room just to make sure there's nothing else, uh, nothing else looking to harm the party. Don't see anything, and I will since you're doing a little walk around, give a little bit more. Some of these, yeah, at least. yeah. I'll look down all the hallways. I will unlock. There you go. All right. So you don't find anything um, out of the ordinary in the room. And you kind of get a little better idea of, you know, this one goes back into the big room you guys came from. Kind of wonder if we need to go down the hallway with the statues. So there are two hallways up there. No, there's nothing else moving. The quivering no body of the roper. Nope. Okay, um, I'll, I'll take a, a quick perusal. Well, I, you know what? I ain't doing that. You guys want to look through the body of the thing? Y'all could do that. I ain't. Well, one thief's not here. The other is dead. So I don't think we're going to search the body. All 
Alrighty, gentlemen. What do you want to do? All right. If nobody's going to look through the body, I'll give it a quick look. I'm not going to do an autopsy on the thing, but I'll make sure there's nothing sparkly, nothing looks valuable in the layer of the stroke. Not so much a layer as it's just a giant body. Um, everything, you know, you guys saw the floor of the room when you came in. There was, you know, just rocks and rubble kind of scattered about. There was no, you know, shiny looking objects below it. Um, and the only thing now on the floor now is the, the steroper as it fell from the, you know, it's kind of oozing green, slimy looking blood stinks. It's tentacles still kind of got these little prongs on it and you can kind of see these uh, green sort of maybe poison or something in it. Okay. I'll tell you what, uh, who, who was affected? Ammon and my and uh, you. Barney. Um, Ammon is gonna try. Hold on a second. Ammon? No, sorry. Uh, Bjarni. <sighs> He's gonna try a dose of Kyotums on Ammon. So if it's some kind of poison. You doing that? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and click it off and apply it to him. Alrighty, it does seem to be poison. So it takes it, that effect it, off. It removes him. the effect, yeah. Then he will do it on himself as well. Another one. You guys are back to feeling normal, strength wise. Good deal. Uh, well, Amun, do we want to go up to where the statues were, or do we want to head down this hallway to the south? Well, we're already here. I say we just continue on this way. Uh, the statues don't look too inviting. Okay, I'll follow you. There's two tunnels up there. Not just the one. Alright, so next it is. It keeps going west. You see a, another tunnel to the south. And from it, you can kind of hear this weird sort of ting, tinging what? crystal sort of glittery sounds like like just a, a you know a lot of crystal chimes or something maybe we're gonna all stay right with Ammond and you hear the crystal sort of tingling and I want I don't know how to describe it but it, to me I mean you you, you know, like somebody's playing hard hearts with play. crystals is what it sounds like What do I see down this hallway to the west? Uh, it goes about 20 more feet and abruptly moves, turns south. Okay. Um, you do notice that right in this section, the wall to the wall here there's this giant sort of black it looks like something melted it in an arc right along the wall right there no oh, yeah and okay. the stone is just kind of oozed down a little bit okay and the rest of you guys are gonna keep moving to the south Keeps going, and the sound of crystals, the chimes get louder and louder as you guys keep going south. And in fact, from here, you can kind of see a purple, green, yellow, 
flickery light against this west wall. Got a bad Let's feeling see. about this. I tried to warn you guys. Nobody, nobody takes the hints. Nobody takes the hints. All right, I need. I'm on to give me a surprise check. Let me actually let me check and see if there's any. He doesn't have any bonuses to it. So yeah, do a surprise check out in the open, please. Oof, you are surprised. Um, because of the light source from Barney, this creature was aware that you guys were coming. Um, and it is right. Let me show you what it looks like first. Well, that's a lame picture. That is not even what it is. Well, it looks like a... Uh, when you first move into the room, you guys saw these crystal sort of formations there to the uh, northwest. Um, well, this looked like the same thing, but it was right here. But, and right here is right here. Um, but one of its, uh, one of the formations of crystal reached out and just made, took a swipe at a moment, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. Hold on. Uh, what does it do? It strikes like it's uh, okay. Nothing. It does Where nothing. My... Really? That's what it does. That's what I need. AC eleven does not hit. I'm pretty sure. How many attacks does it get? One. And that's it. So surprise round is over. Everybody roll initiative, please. All these creatures are weird. I've never used any of these. <laughs> it's stone Thanks. versions of other creatures. Yeah, <laughs> that's weird. All right, Linnea, where is she? Oh, she's way up here. She's actually with you guys. Planer stuff was always strange. She moves down to the corner here. She's like really intrigued by this thing, uh, but that's all she can do because she was so far away. But uh, Dead Baez is there. And so that brings us up to Malicus. Okay. Um, uh, duh, blah, blah, blah. I'm just yelling at them. That, hey, no way out that way. So uh, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right. Next. Grimlock. All right, Grimlock saw this thing. Uh, do you, you have movement lock? I don't think so. Uh, do now. Okay, thank you. Um, he is sees this thing swinging a moon, so he is going to get in the thick of it and swing at the ooze. All righty. You were moving right where Orc wants to go, but. He doesn't go till after you. You move less than half your move, so you can definitely uh, take a swipe at him. That is a hit. And is this a uh, small or a large? It is medium. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I need to make and he gets to go again. And he is going to swing at the thing that just swung at him. He only gets one attack around, which is kind of lame. Uh, actually, what did it say? Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. Wow. Okay. That's why he only gets one attack. He missed. Again. Barney. He 
he's going to move to there. And then hold. Here. Oops. Here. And then hold wherever that is. All right. Right there. Yeah, right there. All right. Uh, Orc, um, your path that you wanted to move is occupied with other people. So you can certainly move around them if that was what you want to do. You'll need to go around the other way because that way is a wall. So let's see. You'll go. How about here? Somewhere I can hit him from. That's fine. Yep, right there. You can do it. do that. That's a hit. Oof. Ooh, he resisted. Look at that. Yeah, these are all... Yeah, he resisted damage from my weapon, too. And, so... and what plus was it? Three. Yeah, that's uncool. Yeah, <laughs> This guy's and crazy! That was... <laughs> and that was blunt, and he did slashing damage. So I think that we're going to have to use magic spells on this guy or back off. A moon. Oh, sorry, wrong one. I was hitting my... Uh... <laughs> Let me redo that. Ah! Um, we'll take your first one. Why did it roll twice? All right. I don't like yeah, we'll twice. Take it... yeah, the first one hit. All right, so you guys have done massive amounts of damage. Ah, uh, Amund, it's Barney, you go. I thought I'd already gone. Oh, that's because, Amund, how did you get to roll initiative again? That's why. Yeah, okay. Um, I accidentally, yeah, I don't know why it let me roll. Yeah, I shouldn't have let you do that. All right, next round, roll initiative, please. Work. Waiting on you, bub. Oh, I'm sorry for what initiative again? Yep. Next round. And you get to go first. That is a hit, sir. Awesome. You guys are hitting it. You know, you see the, 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 the you know, the hit land solidly and you'll see like a little chip. Bing! Click off. It's not doing much at all. Alrighty. Uh, Barney. Barney's telling everybody to back out of here. And he's going to back up. 15 feet. Okay. Now, Linnea's not doing anything because people are saying to move out. So she's going to move to here just because she wants to keep an eye on what's going on she likes to, she's watching this thing because it's very interesting to her Malachus you can keep pulling out moving to that point and pulling the wand of paralyzation out since these guys didn't heed my first warning I guess I'm going to try to paralyze this thing so that we can get out of here uh, Barney's backing out the direction you're going in. That's fine. I'm just uh, I'm going right there and then 
Uh, I'm going to try to tap it so that the guys that are on the front line have a chance to get out of there. Gotcha. All right, let's see. Um, it's going to swing at Grimlock again. And miss. Grimlock. Stand back up! Run away! Yeah. Um... Okay, I'm going to wait for um, everybody to get out. And assuming Amun takes his turn and he leaves, and Auric takes his turn and he leaves, I will then leave after that, okay? All right. Amun, what are you doing? I can't hear this thing. I'm out of here. You taking a moving defensively away? Yeah. Alright. So you can move up to a third of your move, which is probably like two? Yeah, I don't want so. to move too far past the entire group. Alright. I got a reputation to make things. Okay. And Bias is just following. Roll initiative, please. Oh, Auric had already moved, hadn't he? Yeah, he had already acted, yeah. Um, if you would like to go ahead and move away and let him be the last one, you can do that because you didn't do anything really. Um, no, I'll I'll wait. Okay. You're gonna go first again. Oh, not now. <laughs> I thought you were. Alrighty, uh, Barney. He's holding right where he's. All right, Auric, you going to back out or you going to stay in the fight? He's going to keep fighting. That's a hit. Really? It chips off a tiny piece of its crystalline structure. But otherwise, doesn't seem to do anything. Hi, right, Grimlock. What are you doing, bud? Well, I'll applaud Oryx bravery, and uh, and say uh, I don't think you're doing anything to this. I think it makes sense to get out. So I will back up defensively. Um, which you said is a third of my move, right? Yep. Here you okay. Go. So I will move to the. Okay. So as long as somebody's there, it can't follow you. So And there is, so it's staying there. Okay. So the only person left near it is Oric, and it's going to take a swipe at Oric. And miss. So I can't hit the broadside of a barn. I'm wound. Well, I'm going to hold my position here until people get behind me. All right. Malachus. Oops, why did it do that? Oh, I know why it did that. I think we both hit it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you went, you passed your turn to Linnea. Um, um. It didn't save, but see you didn't apply any effect to it I'm you losing you I, your voice cut out can the rest of you guys hear me yes yeah I hear you fine so the wand works uh, you think uh, but the creature is still moving. Can, did you hear that? Yes, I heard it. I was mostly asking Bill. I guess he can't hear me. He must be disconnected. Um, it appears to be mu immune to paralyzation. And then next round, roll initiative, please.
Uh, Malikos, you there? Yeah. What are you doing, bub? Fleeing. Run away! <laughs> you only gonna go that far? Uh, wait. My move is a 12, I think. Nope. I'm yeah, that's 120 feet. There you go. It's reading 37 feet, is that right? Probably, because you're midway and zigzagging and... <laughs> yeah, the top of the hallway is good. <laughs> That's where I'm trying to go. Out there, gotcha. All right. And Auric, you go first. What are you doing, bud? You backing out of the fight? I'm to withdraw. Okay. And let them bombard it. Them calling an artillery strike or whatever. You back up, it moves to here, it stops. Barney, what are you doing? He's waiting right there until everybody gets out. They run away. It's a reach on this sucker. Uh, it cannot do anything from there. What? Grimlock. What did you say? Talking to myself. Here go. What are you doing? Okay. I am moving. Is that where you're going to stop? Oh, nope. Yeah, I'm going to stop down here and look down the hallway to... Moons. Okay, I'm going to continue moving back. All right, is that as far as you want to go? Yeah, I still want to make sure I can see everybody and not move back too far. Okay, yeah. And by his last. Next round, roll initiative. Uh, so the way it is right now, uh, Orc, if you want to continue moving away from the thing, it is so slow it can't catch up to you. I mean, but it will stop chasing you, you know, after you've moved further away from it, because that's not where it wants to be. You guys were coming into its lair. So it looks like you guys are all backing up. And if you are, it just kind of slides back into the, the room and you guys can't see it anymore. Yeah, okay. backing out. Yep, not going back in that room. You, I think we would have had to use some sort of magic damage spells against that thing, like missiles or lightning or something. I don't, that was a badass creature. So what do I see down to the south? It looks like that whole passage to the south was melted out by something. This certainly looks like the way we should go. Yeah, I was thinking this is... Uh, I guess this wasn't related to what you did before. All right. Well, let's go ahead and head down, man. I'll follow you, Amund. Oh, man. Apparently me being facetious wasn't caught on. All right, I'm going. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I feel challenged now, so I'm heading down there. But you got the ring. You want to hand the ring to me? I'll lead. Oh, no. I, th I think I should manage the ring. So the the further you move down, the, the more uh, crude. I mean, the walls were natural anyways, but the you know up until this point. But from here on, it looks like something that has just, you know, peeled back the stone and melted it and it just kind of made a passage in it and it's and the further you go the blacker the walls get i mean they they were stone before now the walls are just like melted and black and like i said they look like they just kind of melted not Do you think the portal did this um 
probably something boring through here. Mm-hmm. Like like portal energy, right? Mm, probably like some kind of giant rock eating worm. Yeah. Yeah, it may not make sense for the entire party to be in this hallway just in case there's something that pops a bunch of fire at us burns that whole hallway but I'll continue to follow a mood it doesn't doesn't look like fire in fact it does look like something melted it with acid sort of oh boy so you come around the corner from there you can see uh, that it opens up into a larger area you see these um, looks like some sort of lichen or something. You're not really sure what it is, but they're kind of pushed. It, it either looks like they were scraped up into a pile, or you know they grew there. But they, in the middle of each one of these, you can kind of see there's an indentation in, in them from where you're at. And you hear that sound from around the corner. It doesn't yeah. sound like it's a portal. I want to keep moving up very, very slowly because uh, I want to see if this is a dead end, if this room is a dead end. So I'm going to follow the wall here down south um, to see if there's another exit out of this room. Yeah, I'm going to try to peek around the corner over here if possible. Okay, one second, please. I mean, I'm not as scared of Earth stuff. You? No. All I right, just I don't think... like things I can't hit. <laughs> yeah. One second, please. Give me a second. Sorry, it's just taking me a little bit. Wow, this didn't do what I wanted it to. So, you guys come around the corner, or at least you you are peeking, and and Grimlock, you're just kind of moving to look into the room from the middle, right? Correct. Yeah, I'm trying to hug the wall. Okay, so move down to here. And Grimlock, where are you going? Straight south on this wall, moving one square at a time. The only thing I'm trying to figure out is if this is a dead no, end. If it's a dead end, I'm heading back north. You can't... Uh, here, hold on. I'll do this. Because you can't see if it's a dead end or not. But you can see this thing as soon as you come around the corner. Oh, and it's shit. looking right at you. And I'm going to put it on a square. Here, I'll put it in the back of squares so it's better. And I'm not going to make you roll a surprise because I did this and nobody paid attention, so roll initiative, please. <laughs> no, we paid attention. We were, that's why we were creeping. Actually, we'll use this other one. And whenever it roared, you heard an answer from further back in the room, too, by the way. That's uncool. That's mom. (laughs) Time to get out of there. Alex, like everybody but Malicus and Barney have rolled. Sorry. And I will at least put you right here, Barney. 
thank you. He would have been following. Yeah. All right. So everybody's rolled. Auric, you hear a loud sort of roar. And it sounds, you know, like what you've heard. Uh, a rumored sort of set, you know, the description of, of uh, dragon voice, maybe. The walls rumbled. All right, I'm going to head forward. Uh, so I'll put you here. That's probably about as far as you could have went. About right here. Amund, what are you doing, bud? Uh, tactically repositioning this way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. not running. Just so you know, what's my full move? Double? Tactical be repositioning. Feet. Tactically uh, repositioning to here. Sixty yeah, is a move. Squire for the brown pants. Sixty is a move. Sixty is just a, a move. If you want to run, you could go 120. If your move base is 60. I don't want to make it too uh, too drastic. I'll go to right there. You could go to 90 feet, and then you you wouldn't be at a full run. Yeah, I want to make sure I can still see Grimlock. And what kind of dwarven curses are you shouting? Yeah, you can just Nothing. see him still. I don't I don't want it to make it seem like I'm panicking. Grimlock, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, uh, I am taken off down the hallway here, and I'm and I'm uh, as I'm passing or I'm yelling. There's dragons down here, and uh, as I'm passing Auric, um, I said we need to be going the other way very quickly, and I'm gonna pass him up and keep on running, and uh, I'm gonna stop uh, right about here. All right, Malikus, what are you doing? Um, you want to run up there and blast um, it with your wand? Mm, <laughs> I'm thinking about <laughs> running. <laughs> uh, I, I, well, first thing I'm doing is saying I told you so. Um, and there's something chasing him up the hallway. Uh, you don't know if it's chasing him, but you certainly can see at least one party member come flying around the corner, looking back like hell is coming. <laughs> okay. I'm going that way then. All right. As far as you're going to go? Actually, you go much farther than that, you can't see. Because Barney is the one that has the light source. Ah, okay. I have a light source as well, by the way. Your provision doesn't work in here. My shield what? Oh, you have provision. Yeah, I, was, I kept thinking you're human. You're not. Never mind. You can see thirty feet. All right. That as far as you want to go? Yeah, I don't want to get too far away from the rest. Alrighty, Barney. What are you doing? So he apparently sees Grimlock come around hastily correct mm -hmm. and he knows Malicus moved so he'll move with Malicus yeah you don't see Grimlock run too off <laughs> exactly <laughs> he's running <laughs> and I'm yelling dragons are down that hallway actually I want to go yeah that's good Mike be right back All right, so this thing, what's its move base? Here, its claws scraping along the ground. You, in fact, you know, Oric, you can even see sparks as it's coming. It gets to here, looks down the hallway, and it. You see it open its mouth and shoot forward this black stream of liquid that strangely resembles the black stuff all along the walls that kind of melted everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna target orc and make sure I'm correct yep and 
he is going to breathe. And he saved. So he does take half from this. Alrighty. You hear another roar from back in the back of that room. Linnea has run. Bias has moved with her. Next round, roll initiative, please. I guess nobody else is listening on the thing except for Frankie and Brian. All right, looks like everybody but Barney has rolled. Barney, you gonna roll? I'll take that as a no. Artemund, what are you doing? All right. Uh, I'm moving out of here, and I think, uh, Oric, you better do the same. Yeah, I'm going to pass Grimlock. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> I don't need to run fast. I just need to run faster than the slowest. There you go. Is that as far as you want to go? That's as far as I want to go. I'm not going to be at the head of the group. That would gotcha. be disrespectful. So, um, it's my turn. I am going to, um, uh, I'm continuing to holler at, or say, now is not the time for bravery. Now is the time to go. And I am going to wait until he runs by me and then I'm going to take off like a bat out of hell. So I'm going to pass my initiative till Oric comes past me. Okay? Okay. So technically in this uh, 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 I'm pretty sure Oric only has a glowing weapon. Am I correct? You don't have a light source? I thought way back in the beginning we had a coin that was had continued to land on it or something. Uh, you have a copper coin, so where is that? I have a light source, by the way. He can definitely see that this corner is glow. Yeah, he can see you. I'm talking about he can't see the dragon from where he's at, if if I'm correct. The where where is the copper coin with continual light? Is it in your pocket or is it? I mean, I don't. Because you can't see other than as far as your longsword lets you see, which is like... I'm looking at my inventory. I thought it was around my neck. Hang on. Yeah, you can only see like 20 feet. And when everybody ran away, you couldn't... And in fact, to you, all you saw was blackness. Just at the just at the edge of blackness, this black spray of acid came shooting at you. It doesn't... Sh the, the copper coin just says copper coin with coin, uh, continual light. It doesn't say it's a necklace or anything like that. I'm looking at it in your inventory. I can only see a little section of my inventory for some reason. Well, like I said, it, it just says copper coin with continual light. It doesn't say it's on a necklace or anything like that. So I would assume it's in your pocket. You can pull it out and use it, uh, but it's not your, your turn right now. What I'm just trying to ask is... <clears throat> I wanted to make sure that you you actually can't see this thing. Oh. Um, but it is um, moving forward. It gets to right. Let me make it to where you can see it again. And it comes within your aura of light. It makes it one more, it gets to right there and it swipes at you with, or it takes a snap at you with its bite. And it misses narrowly. Oric, what are you doing? 
I'm going to take a swipe at it if it's swiping at me. Go for it. You hit it. Large. It's still standing. Yeah. Malice, uh, you Turns are hauling out, ass. It has more than 10 hit points. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah. I'm just running and running and running. You just call me Forrest Gump. All right, Forrest, yeah. You going with him? Uh, Barney? Uh, yeah, Barney's moving on up, yep. Kind of watching to make sure everybody's coming along with him. Well, uh, right now it looks so like I'm everybody but there. one person there. Yeah. And Linnea there. and Bias, they haul ass up here. And that is the end of the round. Roll initiative, gentlemen. So, Oric did not pass. I noticed that Oric didn't pass me. So I am really yelling <laughs> down that hallway. But fine. Okay. You can see that the uh, dragon is taking a deep breath this round, by the way. Malicus, you running more? Yes, sir. As a paladin, am I required to slay dragons or what? Uh, you're required to be lawful good and protect the innocent and you know that kind of stuff. Not uh, sacrifice yourself uh, needlessly. That's pretty much it. I'm going that way. All right, I, I'm gonna let you. I mean, we can, we can stop right. You and I can put you there, and that's where we'll stop with you, because you are considerably long ways away. Um, Amund, are you gonna keep moving out as well? No, I'm gonna stay here and wait for Grimlock and Auric to make their way back. Okay, Barney, I guess you're doing the same thing. Yeah, he's holding right there. Grimlock. I am waiting for Auric, yelling very, very loudly. As soon as he passes me up, I'm going to stay lockstep with him and get the hell out of here. Alrighty, Auric, what are you doing? I hit him. Alright, roll damage. He's large. You slice into his wing and his mouth. He, he has been taking a breath this whole time. And it is now his turn. And he releases that breath right on top of you. And you save. Oof. All right. Baez is dead. Next round, roll initiative. Holy mackerel. <clears throat> um, if you're just going to stand there um, waiting, you guys don't necessarily have to roll. I mean, if you want to, go ahead, but just FYI. Save you some, maybe save you some trouble. So we, uh, or uh, needs to roll though. There we go. All right. Um, as the as you guys are moving into this next round, you can hear, or at least orc, you can hear the sounds of something large moving beyond your vision. Sounds like the other one that has been roaring in the background is coming to see what's going on. Yeah, because one dragon isn't enough for me. No. Yeah. I need to have at least two. Yep. 
Mond, what are you doing? I'm going to move over here to see what the hell is going on. Where's Ulrich? Yeah, you... you hear me yelling at him. <laughs> Ulrich's doing something stupid. All right, Ulrich, what are you doing? I'm going to swing at him again. <laughs> Go for it. That's it. And the dragon I'll be falls dead. dead. The freaking dra Holy shit! All right, Malicus is way out of range. You killed the baby. Now the mama is coming around the corner. Did I actually kill her? Yeah, she did. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> just in time for the big dragon coming around the corner to see that you did that. And she begins to inhale. <laughs> And that's her action. The rest of you guys are... Run like hell. You have to save for all my stuff when this happens. Barney, what are you doing? Staying there waiting? There, You can hear him yelling. Yep. Okay. Linnea, is she's looking anxiously to get out of here. Grimlock? Um, did Orc notice any difference in the size of the two dragons or can he even see the second he can't he can't see it okay gotcha no. he just hears the sounds of something huge going boom, boom, scraping and then he hears this intake of air like uh with the other one okay i will again uh hold my initiative waiting for auric to pass me up and i'm yelling at him down the hall um telling him that we have no idea how many dragons are in that lair and uh, you need to come up here with the rest of the party you cannot kill all of that by yourself and that's that all right Baez is dead next round roll initiative please Orc, you gonna roll? You're really the only one I need, <laughs> to be honest. All right, you rolled a one. So you are going first. What are you doing, brother? Good time to roll a one. All right, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna <laughs> head up really good. You, need, right, you need to roll my ear for acid? Uh, no, you never failed to save. I was waiting for that to do that, though. <laughs> You made all your well, saves. I save my gear saves too. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. All right. Because that's a lot of stuff to have to roll for. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right. So you want to move your full maximum distance? Yeah, move my maximum up to Grimlock, I guess. Oh, you can certainly get up to Grimlock. Oh no! Yeah. I, imagine. Like when you go into an intersection and there's there a cop go. working the intersection and he's waving his arm for you to go, except he's really, really pissed off because you okay. right. haven't been I listening haven't been. to him and he's about to arrest your ass. That's what you see when you come around the corner. I'm telling you to go down the freaking hallway. Are you going to go go your max your distance? Butt. you going to go your max distance or you want to just kind of catch up to him and then... Max distance, I guess, yeah. Uh, there you go. Grimlock. I told you, as soon as Oric passed me, I was running lockstep with him. Uh, and I assume that Amund is doing the same? Yeah, I'm not hanging around here. Uh, Alright, so uh, we can see where's my thing. Where We lost Bill. Oh, Bill disconnected, yep. All right, so I am going to do this and this. You did kill one dragon, so I can put that in there. I'll be damned. Uh, but 
Um, you guys haul ass, get around the corner and keep moving away. But it sounds like you know the thing is not coming any closer. It's you can hear it just scrape, you know, tearing into the walls with his claws and screeching and throwing out some you know loud roars and stuff. But it doesn't sound like it's um, moving in the direction that you guys went. So I, do you guys want to be up there where Malicus is? Oh, actually, I'll put him right here. Yeah, the we'll statue be, area. We'll plan on being in that intersection where he is. Yeah, and, and it looks like Auric is going to need some healing. Oh, yeah. We'll just move all you guys there. And what I'm going to do is... Oh, it's 11 o'clock. I was going to say take a break. Um, actually, let's take a break anyways. I know it's late. Um, but I'm sure some of you guys got to go to the bathroom, right? Yes. Yeah, so we'll take a 10-minute break. Come back at... Uh, in you took would have killed me and he really he's got a cure light left and that's it he's gonna go ahead and throw that he does everything twice right Mike yes the hill portion yeah yeah all right that got him down he's only half wounded um right Thank now you. And he is left with two doses of Kyotum's ointment, a, a continual light, and a dispel. That's it. Okay. All right. We really need to find the way out of here, guys. Um, so, Amun, what do you say we uh, try one of these hallways here? I think that's a great idea. Preferably not the one with the statues. I bet that's the way out. I would. I would think the way with the statues is the way. I mean, w what's your aversion to the statues? They look too much like people. Well, so here, I smash them with a hammer. Oh. I wasn't around for the description of the statues. Can you tell me what they look like? Yeah, they look like humans and dwarves and elves. But they've had bits and pieces taken off of them, right, Mike? Uh, they've been pieces have broken off of them, yeah, like uh, wear and tear, uh, or somebody smashed them, or you're not sure. Do do they look like a frozen person? Um, they are in varying stages of you know emotions. You know, some of them are just kind of like looking off you know intently in one direction some of them have like these you know expressions and you know others look like they're ready to do battle that kind of stuff oh do you suspect that there's something down this hallway that turns things into stone that i do uh, okay yep all right i'm following you okay. <laughs> <laughs> right behind you right yeah Yep. All right, I'm going to unlock uh, so you guys can move yourselves. Uh, I'm going to reveal the map a little bit because I know which direction you're going. Go. It keeps going. It's really long. It keeps going north. Following. All right. It continues north for a good ways. And then you see it kind of bend off west or your left I'm gonna try to look around the corner before stepping out there another long ass hallway and that's about as far as you can see all right <clears throat> one second I'll move Malicus. So where did you get this insight that there is a portal to the west? Like, who told you that? The walls. What? The walls, they told me. Is this part of the ring thing? 
Yeah. Okay. So the ring allows you to communicate with stone or something. Yes. I think right. so. He's talking to the walls, man. All right. We're all a bit edgy now. You, you, you doubt my judgment? <laughs> well, you had told us, though, Wilson, that you would you were going to allow Jolliman to tell us, the, read us the description of the ring and what it did if he wanted to. Hmm. So I would assume a moon could tell us the same stuff, right? He spoke about certain things when we started, yeah. So from about there, you start hearing this sound of, I mean, you've been hearing the, the stone sort of stone on stone grinding. But you hear this kind of, you know, like snap of stone, like something's crushing or breaking a stone. And then it's you hear just like the crunch, 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 crunch. Then just a loud snap. Again, like some big piece of rock was broken. All right, I'll uh, come up here as quiet as my ass can and try to look around the corner. Second, please. Oh, cool. And I wish I had a token for these, but actually, hold on, let me see if I can find one. Ah, this will work. So you come around the corner, you see about this far, you see this large reptile looking thing. And it looks to be like it, it'll drag its claws against the walls and you'll see these rocks drop out and then it just kind of gets, it, it, reach it down with its mouth and just crushes it and you just see it crush it until it's like powder and then it swallows it. It's a rock eater. We're not rocks. It shouldn't want to eat us. Maybe it's friendly. I mean, yeah. It doesn't look very friendly. And right. I can't see past it. Nope. That's as far as you can see from where you're at. Oh man, this place sucks. Yes, it does. Well, I will, I will move in. Well, I'm not letting him have all the glory. I'm staying with him. Okay. So as you start moving in, the creature stops what it's doing and spins. You know, its reptile head looking off in your direction. You can see. It just its claws just kind of dig into the, the the stone and it prepares to run in your direction. Roll initiative, please. Come on, man! It, it's a rock eater. We're not rocks. Hey, easy, big fella. Oh, Orc, just waiting on you, bro. Malik is not here. Linnea is with you guys, but way behind you. All right. Grimlock, what are you doing? Um, let's see here. Uh, can you lock the movement? Oh, absolutely. Sorry, thought I did. There you go. It's like I can't measure distance if you don't have it locked. Yep. You can use the push the mouse thing and kind of do that. Okay, so that's half of my move right there. So I'm going to get up in this thing's face and bash it. All right. Go charge it in. Make an attack. 
Yeah, and so, um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and do a straight up. Man, this movie, this this song reminds me of like Hawk to Slayer sort of combat music, or maybe not even that, maybe Sword and Sorcery music, yeah. I'm assuming this is large. Uh, it is huge, which is large. Yeah, that is definitely an, an 80s fantasy movie. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. It, 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 Hawk to Slayer, sort of. Or, yeah, I mean, just it's it's giving me the vibes. All right, Orc, what are you doing? I'm going to move up and attack. You got to charge in. You get close enough to attack. Is that what you want to do? You want to charge in? Yes, please. All right, gotcha. You're set. And you have a target of the reptile. Go for it. Oh, man, you do not miss at all. That's that's fantastic. <laughs> I, I'm okay with it, personally. Yes. <laughs> or even Dragon Slayer. <laughs> no kidding. All righty. Like a black yeah. dragon single-handedly. If we had a bard, he'd be singing about you. I'm on. Yeah, that's okay. They're probably about to make a statue in my memory here. Yeah, we didn't get a description of the dragon, but I'm assuming it was ancient. I think so. Yep, it was ancient. Is that a charge or just a move? I'm just moving up. Alrighty, now that you guys have gotten close enough... Um, you can see a little bit farther into the cave. In fact, since you've gotten closer, you can kind of see this blue light way off down at the end of the tunnel. Oh, here we go. But oh, ass. Money. You can also see this other thing over there in the corner. Another one that was kind of outside of your line of sight, but now it's not. And it sees oh, you guys. This is the Guardians. Okay. And so it is going to, what do they do? They, uh, it is just going to rush up and target the nearest thing, which is, he just needs to get to there. Yeah, 20 feet. He goes to there and targets Amund and attacks. Oh, he missed. Nice. Next I'm, is going I'm to okay target Grimlock because he's the first thing that swung at it, I think. Yes. And he is going to attack him. And miss. What an embarrassment. Barney. I'm okay with it. I'm okay <laughs> with it. What you doing, Barney? Been a drill kicked in already. <laughs> ben. I don't I don't know what his move is, so hold on. Should be twelve. Maybe move less because he's nine. overloaded. His move is nine. So nine no, so that's is perfect. Less than half his move, so he can move to there and then attack. Go for it. Oh, he hit! And it he is hit. large. There you go. It's It's huge! Huge! Look at that, seven damage, man. Nice. He actually hit something. Alrighty, roll initiative, gents. Alrighty, so Malicus is going to. Off a of charge of this wand. <laughs> so one, one that sucker. <laughs> he rolled one. <laughs> he failed. Uh, let me make sure it's not immune to paralyzation. I don't think it is. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Details doesn't say it is. So it is paralyzed. Grimlock. 
Okay, I am uh, going to take another chunk out of this guy. Nice. Max oh, damage. Oh, yes. And you take it out with one hit. Oh, I killed it. Oh, shit. Yeah. I was rolling my second attack. I expected that guy to have like a million hit points since he was huge. No, they're just big because they swallow you whole. <laughs> If they roll high enough, which they didn't. Okay. Um, well, then that's the end of my turn. Howdy next. Orc, uh, your target, oh, your is, target dead. is dead. The other one is not moving. not moving. It's yeah. not moving. Rock reptile number two has been paralyzed. Rock reptile number one is dead. So at this point, you can just roll damage on the uh, yep. rock reptile. If you just want to actually, uh, you're out of combat effectively because the other one is dead. If you just want to walk up to it and slot its throat wide open and let it bleed out, you are welcome to do so. Definitely doing that. Yeah, sure. All right. Orc slices its throat, kills it dead. It's dead. And we can stop our music. Both of them lay slain on the ground before you. Get to the portal. Yes, I will uh, go south and go figure out what the blue light is. And uh, I will move slowly, kind of scanning the room left and right to make sure nothing else is moving. Yeah. Barney, Don't scan go on and light. And Malicus to move on. But I'm looking for an image so that you guys can see what this is. I'm going to unlock your tokens so you can move at will. Nudes. The nudes. Yeah, as I so. start to move uh, south towards the portal again scanning the room back and forth to see if there's anything else that's moving i'm gonna tell amund uh especially since he's a brother dwarf and he's got familiarity with rocks and whatnot to kind of scan these rock reptile corpses and see if they might have any gemstone valuables or anything like that. maybe they swallowed something that's uh worth something that we can keep all right i'll do that okay so uh brian what are you doing he is hollering back to Linnea and Malicus to move on towards the portal, but he's holding his position there. And we'll check Rock Reptile 1, see if there's any. He's out. I think they are. I think their venom is valuable. All righty. So you examine the uh, Amund. You're kind of looking around at the bodies, trying to see if you know if there's anything valuable on them, or you know that they're you know I don't know exactly what you're looking for, um, but you don't see anything as far as like uh, gem die balls or you know gold teeth or anything like that. What what are you looking for? Yeah, just anything that looks uh, shiny and valuable. Maybe it's like the it scales or anything. They have these massive teeth on the bottom that are, they look like they're, you know, um, really strong and huge. They would make an awesome necklace for some giant, probably. All right. I'm going to start wrenching some teeth out. Okay. I'm all about that. That'll take you a while. That's all right. I got it. I got all day. <laughs> and the rest of you guys, what are you doing? I told you what I was doing. I'm still doing it. I'm going to ball the other guys out. Going to the portal. All right. Come on, so Moon. Let's go. You guys go to the uh, portal. You look at it. It uh, looks bluish. Kind of has the same hue and, and color of, you know, water. Um, you look at the, the, there's a circle, but inside the circle, there is a square. And uh, if you guys recall, there was um, some symbols that you guys ran across in the temple itself. 
um, and the squares typically represented the water temple and or plane or whatever but it represents water so so I will ask uh, Linnea what she thinks about this port um, she moves up to it she kind of looks at it and she uh, checks out all the little symbols that are kind of along the circle edge and she says that uh, this will take us back to where we came from into the, the water node oh Christ almighty uh, I feel like I'm back in Jeff's campaign in the underdark <laughs> Well, I don't think this is where to go. Um, I'll go talk to a moon. Did I see anything when I was scanning left and right in this uh, in this room here? Like no, anything just noteworthy. It, it looks like the 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 area ha used to be pretty narrow, but these rock creatures have just basically tore the walls, tore into the walls really deeply. You know, that's really all that's in here is just the there's you know rubble strewn about the whole place. So, Amun, when you um, talk to the wall, um, yes. it, maybe if you didn't get this information, maybe you could ask them if maybe there are other portals uh, to other places, and maybe if any of them go back to the prime material plane and not these elemental planes? Sure. Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, it's a once a day thing? I think so. Well, honestly, it's we need to rest. I mean, yeah, Yarny's no got heal. no heals. And uh, so, and, and this is probably as good a place as any, I would think. I mean, it, there was a lot of hallway in between here in this room and we've cleared this room of any danger so I think if we were going to rest anywhere this would probably be the place to do it we're just going to have to make sure to keep watch yeah we can move the uh, rock reptiles up to that bottleneck up there and leave them as like scarecrows these things are huge man I don't think we move these man they're made out of rock. Think they're, and, um, they're reptilian. They're just made. They're they're they eat stone. Um, I wish I could see. They're fifteen feet long. They poop cement. You you guess so because there's no poop around here. It's all rock, little rocks, <laughs> and big rocks. You're not sure which ones are poop and which ones are food, but. You guys that's wanna... a that's a fishing <laughs> all righty so um we can pause it here uh if you guys are gonna if you want to take your break here or, or try to rest an evening here yeah yeah i think that's the okay. plan the cleric does need to remember to get spells back badly uh -huh. well you guys make your camp um do what you can to kind of make just defenses. Um, but this place itself, I mean, with where you came from and how you, and the, the distance to get here, it's kind of a, one of the better places that you guys could have rested. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do the full rest. Nothing's going to bother you, at least for this period. Um, and I will go ahead and do the um, full day of rest so you guys can pick your spells. Actually, none of you guys. Are playing your characters that need to pick spells, but um, the person, the, the one with the ring, I guess would maybe. Let me see. We'll do a rest for a full day, and this is where we'll pause it. So when we come back, everybody has got their spells. Um, you can go ahead and um, apply your daily uh, rest for hit points.
I'll do that for um, Oric. Thank you. Should mean Malika should have all his spells so where he can. Oh wow, he's down to three charges left on his wand. I will not miss that fucking thing. <laughs> all right. Uh... Gonna be one of those things that when the last charge goes, it crumbles into powder. Yeah, it's definitely not one that recharges. I mean, it didn't even, I don't think it even says on the, the description. Some of them can, some of them can't, so. Alrighty, um, since none of you guys need to pick spells, we'll, when we come back next time, we'll have the guys that do pick their spells, and we will um, start from